Oh, oh, it does a little dance. Did you see that? Security isn't something we usually talk about on Short Circuit or LTT for that matter, just because it's kind of a tricky subject to talk about without disclosing all of the security features that you actually have. Cameras aren't too useful if everybody knows where they are. But today we have something that is truly ridiculous. This is the most expensive camera that Ubiquiti has ever released at 1800 US dollars. I can't even imagine spending like $200 on a security camera, let alone 10 times that. But supposedly it packs enough punch to make it worth it. Let's get into box. Ugh. Wow, holy crap. I mean, the first thing I noticed picking up this box is it weighs like ugh, probably 40 pounds with all the parts in. And uh, this is definitely gonna be part of it. This is just the mount. That's an expensive MacBook right there. <laughs> Thanks for the sticker, you big <laughs> Oh wow, so you get two. Every portion is like safety strapped into each other. Too bad they didn't ship it with that attached. Where does this even go into? Let me get the sparks on it. So that sort of goes, slides, sort of slides in there. Okay. I guess this is just in multiple pieces to make it easier for you to put it on the wall. They even have a little level in there. I guess for your $1,800, uh, they include a 10 cent little bubble level <laughs> for the money. So you'd mount your four screws or whatever. We're gonna actually be putting this in concrete in the front of the building, so. And then you slide the big mount. I put the camera under there. Now we'll get into more of the specs of the actual camera in a sec, but there's a cool little nubbin at the top. I'm not really sure what you call these things, but it's it's basically just like a little rubber piece that you stick your ethernet cable through. That way, when it's in there and you tighten this down, it's actually gonna be waterproof because this is going outside, of course. Actually, I don't know if we can get this through here. Yeah, I think the intention is to use this, uh, you, you put this through the cable and then terminate it after. You can't really get a pre-terminated cable through there. So I guess we're just gonna leave this for now. Whatever I tried. So assuming you have a hammer drill, you drill your hole, hammer these in, and then you can take these big old thick old bolts and drive them right into these. Jeez, that is some beefy mounting hardware for a camera. Screws aside, let's get to the main attraction. Ugh. Oh wow, it comes in like its own bag. <laughs> I think there was another thing in the box that I just dropped. I missed one piece, but it's just for the top of the this thing. But wow, it comes in its own carrying case. It feels like a soccer ball. It looks like a big chocolate egg. A big chocolate egg. Yeah. I don't think it would be very tasty. Oh. The G4 PTZ, an $1,800 22X optical zoom security camera <laughs> that shoots 4K. Maybe we should just use this for short circuit now. Look at that lens. So like I just mentioned, this is a 22X optical zoom, not digital, so there's actually a full lens in here that will physically adjust to change the zoom to whatever you'd like. Uh, unlike digital zoom where you're just sort of cropping in and upscaling, this is gonna give you the full picture quality throughout the entire range. And since it's 4K, you can even punch in a little bit more digitally and still have 1080p or 720p or however much you wanna zoom in. So you're still gonna have really awesome quality at some pretty insane distances. Moving inside, I, I don't think I wanna take it apart because I think I'm gonna break it. Although they don't have torque screws. Messing with camera lens stuff is usually a bad idea. So I think we'll just leave it. But it, it's a Sony eight megapixel sensor. So that's gonna allow you to shoot 4K video at 24 FPS. It's not 30. I think you can put it in high frame rate mode, but it's a security camera. A lot of people record security footage at like 10 or 15 FPS. Because of the zoom, the viewing angles aren't fantastic. You're looking at 64 degrees down to three degrees when you're fully zoomed in horizontally, and then 37 degrees vertically down to two degrees when you're fully zoomed in. Huzzah! Well, that's pretty sleek. Oh. It looks a little dilapidated right now because it's not on. Yeah, or like outside of a bank or something, like yeah. spying on you. Pew. Like you see him in a movie and he'd do a little dance. It's like a Star Wars character. G4! Pew! Hey guys! <laughs> pew pew! 
So unlike the G3 series of cameras, which use 10 100 ports, this one actually has a full gigabit, just like the G4 Pro over there. Um, I guess it might be able to do over 100 megabit bitrate, which is, that's pretty insane <laughs> for a security camera. And it actually makes use of PoE++, which for some people might require a switch upgrade, or you might just have to use a PoE injector, as this bad boy can drop to 43 watts when it's in full motion, zooming, doing everything. And your standard PoE that's usually about 30 watts isn't gonna cut it. Shall we plug it in? Right after I tell you about our sponsor. Honey is the free shopping tool that finds you the best promo codes whenever you shop online at specific sites. Honey works on over 30,000 stores, including Amazon, eBay, Newegg, Razor, Best Buy, Walmart, and many more. It's free to use and installs in just two clicks because Honey makes a small commission from the sites where you shop when Honey saves you money. Oh, oh, it does a little dance. Did you see that? Oh, really? What? <laughs> you didn't see the dance? No. I think it's just finding home. All right, so we're in the Unify Protect dashboard. I've got the camera already set up. I'm gonna switch it to 4K because by default it does some like weird max bitrate 720p thing that like scales to your connection. But we wanna see like the best quality. We got the pan tilt zoom controls here. You can take a photo, full screen it. You can do wide dynamic range. What is that? You can like increase the dynamic range of the camera? It probably simulates it. It's just like a little log, like it shoots flatter. Yeah, it does shoot it flatter. Cause usually on the other G4 cameras, they have just like an HDR switch. You can just turn it on or off, but this is, okay, this is kind of tripping out. Just give me a second here. Let me just refresh the page. Oh wow, look at that. So you can just click in the live feed and it will move and then focus. Oh, you can use arrow keys too. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, Jono. So I just click on that and then we go big zoom. Zoom. It's kind of dark, not gonna lie, but um, focus. Hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow, the detail is insane. It looks so good. And if we unzoom, it, it's such a, a gentle unzoom. Oh, no, never mind. Holy crap. You, can, you almost can't even see the thing I was just looking at. I guess the only thing that's left is to put this thing on the building and see what it actually can see outside. Well, it is another day. I spent the several hours it took me to install the camera. She <sighs> lost it, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta put oh, these. Uh, uh. Wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done, but I'm also not a professional concrete driller. So let's look at my car. Let's see if we can see the stickers on the side of my car. How do I zoom? Do, 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 do. Holy crap. <laughs> no, but look at that. Oh, there we go. It actually maintains the focus pretty well when it's zooming. I've seen a lot of PTZ cameras that when you, you zoom, they just go completely out of focus. So that's pretty impressive. What about like, okay, there's some dumpsters over there. I wanna see if we can read the text on the dumpsters. Yeah, yeah. Progressive waste services. Do not park. <laughs> that's like on the complete other end of our complex. That's insane. So this camera actually just came out of the beta period into general availability, so it can be a little finicky still in terms of the controls. They're still working on that, but so far, I mean, it works pretty much as good as I could expect. That's the street. That's like hundreds of feet away. Look, oh, there's a train. Wow. Yeah, how dark is it outside right now? It's like medium blue. Medium blue. It looks like pretty much bright as day on the camera. That's pretty impressive. What if we, maybe I'll turn on the IR mode. Oh yeah, it doesn't even care. It's so bright still for this camera. Well, I guess that pretty much sums it up. This thing is an absolute monster. And if you need a security camera with some crazy zoom, maybe you're, you have a data center and you got a big field outside, you wanna be able to surveil or you wanna spy on your neighbors. Not that we are gonna advise you to do that. <laughs> this might be the camera for you. Um, or maybe you're just like a tech nerd like us and you want to 
put a stupid camera on the front of your building just because you can. So thanks for watching guys. If you're interested in camera stuff, although it's not really security cameras, uh, you can check out one of Brandon's short circuits, maybe on the Ursa Mini 12K. Are we done? Bye.